Wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Your free spa weekend was a lie, luring you into this deadly trivia game. Only one of you will survive. And what a story you'll have about your vacation. That's fun. All right, first question. Which is not something the devil claims to have done in the song, Sympathy for the Devil. Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, I want to show you something. Welcome to room 113. The hair dryer's broken, sorry. It's magic time! Pick a space inside the box to hide. I wish I had a magician's assistant for this, but oh well. Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Now. Can you confirm that we've never met before? <laughs> Just kidding. A little magician banter. You get a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. Sword is a weird sounding word, right? Swords. Swords. Magic. Oh, I needed that. You're not going anywhere. You're a ghost now, but you have options. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. When first introduced as a college entrance exam in 1926, what did the SAT stand for? Welcome back to the killing room. Okay, this one is more of an experience. These are precious family treasures I give away as punishments. Pick a box and keep what's inside. The water damage is purple. Wow, it's my Auntie Vale's hand mirror. Fair warning, you're possessed by a ghost now. If they answer faster than you, they'll block out that answer choice for you. But if you're possessed by a real dum-dum, it's not a big deal. You know, I avoided this place most of my adult life, but it's surprisingly nice to be back. To you, this is just a haunted murder hotel, but to me, it's a haunted murder home. Let's try another one. Which of these plants is a succulent? <laughs> Who 
hit this. Which leaves only you. Follow me. It's my old favorite, chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. That hits the spot. Now let's see what you drink. Oh good, you trusted your poor instincts. Just because you're dead doesn't mean that haunted mirror has to leave the game. There's a wheel on your controller right now, and you have a few seconds to bequeath it to another player. But you have to do it right now. Good news! Our recently deceased player had a will. They left a cherished possession to you. It's your problem now. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. Which of these is a sweet noodle casserole? Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive. Time for consequences. Now we learn obedience. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. The player who follows the fewest rules correctly dies. The rules are already on your device. Go, go! Is it clear that this game is called Rules because you have to follow a bunch of rules? Man, naming stuff is hard. Rule time is coming to an end! Well, it rules that I get to kill you now! Let's keep moving. As of 2018, who has never won a World Cup? Who picked this? It's time. Congratulations! You've been entered in my Scratch Ticket Giveaway! Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for all the extra dollar signs you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. We know what a losing ticket means. I know you have bigger concerns right now, but you only have a few seconds to fill out that wheel on your controller. Just an FYI. Another wheel has been discovered. The family burden has been dumped on... you! Let's try another one. Which of these is not a British Virgin Island? Who picked this? 
follow me. Okay, we gotta use these weird little dumbwaiters. Everyone pick an elevator door. If you all pick the same side, you all live. But if there's a split decision, I will kill everyone on the heavier side. This is a good trust building exercise, and it might be your last. Let's see where you all landed. Ugh, I'm so glad you worked that out. Lame. Let's keep moving. Cho Chang belongs to which Hogwarts house? <laughs> Who picked this? Come with me. There's nothing more fun than fogged up mirrors. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. Start writing on that mirror. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Enter the right word now or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? You know what that means. <laughs> Let's try another one. What do you call a cigar that's seven inches long? This. Only a ghost got it wrong. I don't like seeing that. Let's keep moving. Whose first name is John? Who picked this? I want to show you something. Let's roll them bones. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. This is a game for people who like blackjack, but hate using cards. It's your last chance to sneak a few extra rolls in. I see you're unlucky in dice. A haunching doesn't end that easily. The cursed mirror is your problem now.
Well, this is fun, but I need it to end. Time to get serious. Okay, this is a game where only one person can survive, so... I hope you can hold your breath. Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. So many keys to choose from. I don't want to tell you what to do here, but pick another key. Wow, you're really bad at finding the right key. One last chance. It's no loser wheel, but it gets the job done. You've made it so far, but can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Poisonous plants. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. Well, you'd be closer to the exit if you'd gotten either of those right. Ah, but it's not just you. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Names for Santa Claus from around the world. Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. Animals that hibernate. trouble. It's only darkness. Boats with sails. Time is almost up. Yikes, there's a g, -g, g ghost right behind you! British Prime Ministers. The tables have turned. Venomous animals. Medieval weapon. Stop. The darkness approaches. Movie directed by women. Another life force swap. In 
enjoy oblivion in the darkness. Types of Lumber. This will slow you down. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. You have to get all the right answers to escape. The darkness approaches. Renaissance artwork. Hello, child. I'm Deborah Sugarbaker, and oh, we don't have much time. You're possessed by an evil ghost, and I can cast it out. Oh, but please be careful, there is a cost. Let's say, oh, 300 bucks. So that's $50 each from everybody. Otherwise, the spirit will take permanent control of your body. Anyway, think about it. Let me know. Well, this should sort of be a no-brainer. Only $50 to save the struggling game show survivor. So, what did we decide? Okay, just uh, counting the money. And, uh, yep, 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 all here. Okay, bing bang boom, possession cured. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs>